The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. A leper came to Jesus and, kneeling down, begged him and said, If you wish, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, he stretched out his hand, touched him, and said to him, I do will it be made clean. The leprosy left him immediately, and he was made clean. Then, warning him sternly, he dismissed him at once. He said to him, See that you tell no one anything, but go, show yourself to the priest, and offer for your cleansing what Moses prescribed. That will be proof for them. The man went away and began to publicize the whole matter. He spread the report abroad so that it was impossible for Jesus to enter a town openly. He remained outside in deserted places, and people kept coming to him from everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord. So in the first reading today where we heard of how those who were found with leprosy, how they were to uh, act and let the people around them know, I would imagine that with everything that we've experienced over the last year, that this kind of uh, behavior on the part of the one who found themselves to be ill, I can imagine that we have a better understanding and a better appreciation of what that kind of looks like within the context of a community. It's so much so that in the first reading it speaks of how the one who finds themselves to be uh, contagious with leprosy, they are forced to muffle their beards or cover their mouths and let the people around them know that they are in fact ill. In ancient times, for a person to be kind of diagnosed as best as they could with leprosy, that was essentially the same as saying, you don't have much time left. At that time, for anyone to find themselves with the illness of leprosy, it was essentially a death sentence. They simply did not have the way or any therapies or medicine to cure leprosy in the way that we do now. In our modern age, leprosy here in America, at the very least, really, it's not a concern for us because of all the advancements we've had with science, with medicine. However, For us today, in our modern context, these realities of recognizing illness within oneself, of seeking to be healed by the Lord, as we hear in the Gospel, all of this still remains relevant to us today. Obviously, it's going to look a little bit different, But the truth behind what is being told to us, the truth behind what the Lord desires to share with us, always and everywhere does in fact remain the same. With each event, with every action and every word that comes from Christ, there is a deeper meaning. There is something more important that is being shared by God to us more than the simple act or words in and of themselves. Here today we hear of how a man who finds himself with leprosy, he presents himself completely and totally to Jesus with all of the ugliness that the illness of leprosy brings, with all of the pain, the discomfort, the ridicule. This man, he recognizes that to approach Jesus 
there is nothing left for him to lose. Now, we can think of that in kind of a negative light, but on the other side, in the positive aspect, again, the man with leprosy, he, since he has nothing to lose, he only has everything to gain. For ourselves, although in many ways we might not have to worry in this same kind of light of physical illnesses that overtake us always and everywhere from the beginning of time, humanity has always been called by God to be vigilant against any kind of illness of the soul. We have been called to be vigilant against any kind of illness of heart. For each and every one of us, there are different aspects of our personality that, for whatever reason, are drawn to particular vices, that are drawn to particular temptations. For us, spiritually, when we fall into these temptations, when we fall into these vices, whether in small or large ways, we do end up hurting not only our own souls, but we end up hurting our relationship with those around us, our family, our friends, co-workers, and our relationship with the Lord. It's important to recognize that in the first reading where Moses is giving the people kind of the guidelines to follow when they are found with leprosy, those guidelines do not only affect the person themselves, the one who is ill, but rather the entire community at large is brought into this kind of dynamic. The entire community at large is affected by the illness of even one. For us today, we are called in a more particular way as Lent draws very near to recognize those areas within our hearts and souls that are in fact ill. We are called to reflect and to bring before the Lord those areas of our hearts and souls whereby our own choices, whereby our own, again, vices and temptations, we have allowed our spirits to be hurt. We have allowed our spirits to become ill with sin. Again, I mentioned that Lent is very close to us. In fact, Ash Wednesday is this coming Wednesday. Throughout Lent, here at the parish, we will be offering even more opportunities for any and all of you to approach confession. That just as the leper who presents himself to Christ, that he might be made clean, for each and every one of us, we no longer have to hold on to those parts of ourselves that cause hurt to ourselves, to our relationships, and to God. We are not stuck with having to hold on to these different vices and sins. The Lord, through His death and resurrection, has provided for us the medicine necessary to be made clean. He provides for us the opportunity to take on our spiritual lives once more and to march forward in joy and in peace. That today, with the example of the leper who presents himself to Christ, that we ourselves 
no matter how long it may have been, that we might have the courage given to us by the Lord to approach confession, to allow the Lord to be the one to heal us, that we might once more take our place in the community of Christ, in the family of Christ, to be in relationship with the Lord here in this world, that ultimately we might be able to share with Him in eternity in the next. Good morning. Uh, this is the um